Also, I am happy to say Fez Watley is back two and a half weeks later, <laughs> looking great, fresh-faced, bright-eyed. You look like a million bucks. Thank you, Ronnie. It's good to be back. Back in a neck brace after my neck surgery. And I'm... Uh, here's what I'm uh, kind of upset about. That your voice came back, because I really <laughs> thought the funny trumpet voice would have worked for you. It was Yeah, it's like they went... Well, they went in past the vocal cord, so I think something got tightened up. Well, they say that that happens, and it, you know, it's only a temporary thing. With some people, were permanent. But he talk, was talking like this for one. I'm like, this is so <laughs> fucking great, Fez. Make sure you stand on your neck <laughs> to keep that going. But you look real clear-eyed and pain-free, and everything's great. You got a, a, a shirt that's really, really nice. That's my gay shirt. Mm. Fuck. Still can't figure a way out, huh? No, not yet. No. Nah. Uh, no, I'm going to let you know you're creative. Why does he still have the brace on? Can I just ask a question? Why does he still have the brace on? My neck isn't healed yet. I just had a piece of my leg put into my neck to rebuild it. That old man <laughs> radio, he just keeps sailing. He, when I told him that uh, about when we went out to dinner... <laughs> And that you were wearing the neck brace, which I'm mad too because you shaved and that looked really funny, <laughs> just unshaven. And you know he he had only been up for a couple of days, so he really uh, was in you know downed out shape at that point. Nice, but with the neck brace on. And Chris was so mad, saying you didn't need a neck brace. Did you hear him say that on the air? Yes, I heard him say why, it. Why didn't you call in? <laughs> well, I really <laughs> thought it must have been the Downs talking. That someone would say someone no. with neck surgery didn't need a neck. Brace. We we weren't all doing downs, yeah. just you. I was sober on the fucking air. I thought I heard it crazy, because it couldn't possibly be real. You don't need that neck brace. I need this neck brace. You just want to look like Bobby the Brain. That's it. That's It's just it's an accessory now for you. you don't I would need have it. been wearing it years ago if that was the case. Why don't you draw in a bow tie so nobody <laughs> knows exactly what it is? Why weren't you wearing one before, just to stabilize it a little bit? Okay, now you guys are ganging up. This is called <laughs> bullying online. Why do you have to worry about his neck brace? His doctor said put on a neck brace. He put on a neck brace. It looks ridiculous. And he, yeah, he, it does. <laughs> a neck brace is going to look dumb. It looks crazy. And he, I, he got, he went into surgery to get fixed. So the neck is now fixed. He doesn't need the neck I feel, brace. I feel bad for anybody who sits behind him at a movie. Oh, they're fucked. <laughs> You don't need it, Fez. Take it off. No, I'm not taking this off. My doctor says I need this. Throw it in the garbage now. I feel like I'm getting scammed here. I, I would say this, and maybe it's because of TV, but everybody with a neck brace looks like they're faking it. Yeah, he's working something. <laughs> he's not. That's just fucking television fucking with you, dude. People do wear neck braces. You You've been taken in by pro wrestling and Brady Bunch reruns. I don't believe for a second. I, I just want to take it off you. I, when well, I look what would happen at it, if you took it off? Would your head fall in <laughs> right on your shoulder? It could. It could undo all the good work that the surgeon did. It'll be fine if we take that thing off. He'll be even better. It's ridiculous. I feel crazy looking at a man in a neck brace. <laughs> but it, he's. Do you think a cast is real, or do you think those people are faking? No. Do you not believe in wheelchairs? <laughs> A neck brace is an actual thing. I've seen enough people like get up out of the wheelchair that even wheelchairs I'm suspect of most of the time. A lot of people just use it because it's easier when they can actually right. walk, you know? How long is this This doesn't thing on? make it easier. You want sympathy. That's the only reason you're wearing it. So like people can't tell like I could have had neck brace. I feel bad for him with that neck brace on. Thank See? you, Ron. I appreciate <laughs> it. It's like three weeks off. It's been a party. <laughs> People were stopping by the office who never do. Hey, what what happened? Do you an accident? What ha haven't seen it for a while? Because he's just sitting there like all hunched over and his neck breaks. So you thinking he was loving that, loving it more? Like people never, not even talk to him, let alone <laughs> stop by. Like the hey, weird what's thing going is, on? it is, um, it is weird to see somebody in a soft brace like that. Yeah. Like there was like the the, the brace where the, like the screws go to your head. Yeah, that would be better. You yeah. should have had that. Then nobody would have thought that you were faking. I don't need a halo screwed to my head. It's bullshit. What is the what does the neck brace do feel? It's just a precaution to make sure that when I'm out on the street nothing bad happens. What bad could happen to you? If I if my neck gets turned too bad, uh, if Who's going to turn your neck? 
You don't never know. Good looking guy could walk by. Oh, come on. Turns so you, my head. So you this is to stop you from hurting yourself. This, this is a precaution. Oh, that's it's really embarrassing, see, man. See, that part's embarrassing. He doesn't need it. Yeah. My doctor told me to keep wearing well, it. Well, why don't you put on boxing gloves so you don't chew your nails? I mean, if you <laughs> if this is just to stop you from doing something, then that's a lot more embarrassing. I thought that your neck actually needed it. But it does need it. Sure it does. This is the precaution but, to but, make sure but, that the surgery stays in place. But the point was to stop it's only to stop you, nothing else. No, anything else could happen. Like, I can't what? tell you right now. Wait, let me just say this. I'll punch him in the fucking neck brace and I'll break his spine. I'll fucking... Don't. That neck brace is not going to fucking protect you. It's too soft. It's a gimmick. Let's it's get like you to the other with the hard one, and then we drill some things into your skull. How about a cone? Like a, like they have with dogs, so they don't get it. That's fucking wounds. embarrassing, Shelby, and you know it. That's going to make him look like he chews on his own fucking ears. <laughs> You two must have had a hell of a week last week, Chris and uh, Shelby, if they're working together to come after the neck brace patient. Well, nobody checked up on them over the last couple of weeks, so yeah, I guess they did have it. I was doing it. I was texting Chris Stanley to fix the levels during the show. Is that right? How about the promos? Uh, here's my buddy, the Pit Duck, K Pit Duck. Hey, Ronnie, is that a soft collar or a hard collar? Soft. Yeah, that's bullshit. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, what do you know? No, 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 Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. No, 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 Take it off. Don't take it off. Let me explain. A hard collar, I mean, I can. I thought he would have a hard collar on after the surgery because you really don't want to move those joints at all, which means you don't, you can mobilize the neck. A soft collar, if he really, if he wanted to, he could turn his head to the left or right against a soft collar really easy, unless it's on really, really tight. But even then, a soft collar really doesn't protect your neck from movement, which you want to give it a few weeks for that bone to form a callus before you get, after you get surgery. But a soft collar, I think it's more it's more placebo than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> see, I was right the entire time. No, whenever you see anybody like, you know, wrestlers, plastic wrestlers or people in a, in a lawsuit or something like that with a soft collar on, it's horse shit. Wow, it I didn't know that. It doesn't offer any real protection. I mean, it, it helps you. It might make you keep from moving your neck a little bit more to the left or right, but you can still move it. And if you're going to move it, you're going to injure it if they're suspect or worried about an injury. See, it, he's making my point as well. But he just made the fucking point that you don't need it. That I need this. The thing doesn't work at all. No, it, it, it'll do good. It'll help. I mean, if it keeps you from moving your head more to the left or right, that's fine. It'll, but it'll here's do. the point. Just but, don't be an adult and don't move your head from left to right. Self-control, Fez. Yeah, have a little self-fucking control. We should all have neck braces on, according to Fez. Oh, I don't <laughs> want to turn my head if I see some chick or walking down the street. So, have some self-control, claims two different alcoholic <laughs> drug addicts. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Take it easy, Ronnie. Okay, buddy. All right, bye. So fucking weird. Um, here's uh, Al in Ocean City. How you doing, buddy? Good, buddy. It's Al. Al Fez. Are you there? Yeah, right here. Uh, um, I do a show down here in, in the mornings, and I had Mo Rocca last week. And uh, I know your crush on Mo, and he said he's going to send you a special gift and a get well note. Did you receive anything from Mo? I haven't gotten anything from Mo Rocca yet. Damn it. I've been trying so hard, and he was so excited to hear you were hurt for some reason. I have no idea why. Yeah. Well, you know, it's gossip. Uh, are you in Ocean City, Maryland, or, or yeah. New Jersey? City, Maryland. Yeah, we spoke before. We used to, I used to work with Don Geronimo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember talking to you. Yeah. Uh, what was Mo doing down there? He was doing. Uh, it was. It was. Uh, he was doing. Uh, we had an interview. He was talking about his grandma's ravioli book and pushing this morning CBS morning show stuff. But was he really, you know, staying in Rehoboth for a couple of days? He might have been. He didn't say he did. We, we, Hanging he, out he with the rusty rudder. Power in and out. Yeah. Pushed his, pushed, pushed his book, but uh, he did show concern for you, Fez. Uh, That's nice. Concern. He's a good dude. All right, thanks, Al. Good to talk to you again, buddy. Eight six six Ron zero Fez. Eight six six Ron zero Fez. Um, here is, uh, Tom in New York. You're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, Ron. Big ass 5298 here. Uh, Rob bought his old school. Hoo -ah, hoo -ah. Yeah, a couple of things. Bowie, the first tour that I saw was the Diamond Dogs tour, and it was called the 1980 Floor Show. Uh-huh. And he came out over the stage in a cherry picker during, uh, space. That was madness. You know, over the audience. Yeah. 
It was just astonishing. Yeah, he uh, was. Anyhow, uh, I wanted to did you see the next door? trade in that um, to neck this. collar for one of those uh, dog satellite dishes. That would look pretty cool. That would be. That would be nice for you, Do Phil. It. Um, Maria, you're on the Ron Fez show. Hey, Ray, how's it going, Ron? Good, sweetie. What's up with you? Well, I was just calling in defense of poor Fez. I, um, my husband just had a, uh, an operation, too, on his neck, and yes, you are around the house, wear the soft collar, and when you go outside in public and driving around in your car, you wear the hard one. And yeah, you are supposed you, to wear that. You're in public. Where's your hard collar? I don't have a hard collar. I just have this collar, my soft collar. Why don't you just wear a stiff T-shirt, then? <laughs> this is ridiculous. He probably snagged it off someone walking out of the hospital. All right, well, I, I'm picking up a thing that Chris and Shelby, you don't even, you're acting like this guy wasn't hurt at all. I'm saying he got fixed, and we all heard the stuff that's saying, hey, once it gets fixed, all the pain and problems are gone. And so if, if, if the new bone's in the neck, right? Yeah. That it should be fixed. The neck is good to go now. So why need the ridiculous looking collar? Here's the thing, Fez. Stand up for these guys. They don't respect you. Mm -hmm. Take your fucking collar off. Do it. Just take it off Do it. and leave it off. I have to keep this collar on. You're going to us. fucking show them that they were shit. <laughs> now I guess they win. We're right again, Ron. Once again, the bullies win. Um, Sam, you're on the Ron Fez show. Hey, Spaz, maybe you could give the collar more validity by having everybody sign it like a cast. Um, I'd sign it. I'll sign it faker. Yeah. This is a fake fucking... I'm going to write... A, I'm going to draw a thing where his neck is, like his throat. I'll just draw a thing in it and I'll just put jizz pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Unused, unused jizz pipe. Uh, this said to us, um, Fez has to keep the collar on. His docs don't want him to lick the wound. <laughs> and Andy Kaufman wore a soft brace when he hurt his neck. And he wasn't faking, right? I just feel like it's just a sham in our faces. Again, you can't use professional wrestling as an example here. This is the only example that works. Exactly. You're the world's biggest professional wrestling fan. And the guys even said, everybody came over and was like so, you know, giving you the attention like a baby. And we know that's your fucking happiest time. When you take the victory lap and say, look what baby did, look what baby did, you're at your absolute happiest. Love is it. This was people seeking me out. I didn't go running around the right, place. I got a bad neck. you have a fucking neck it's, brace on. Exactly. The brace is just calling people to you. You're just like, oh my God, he has a neck brace on. He hasn't been around for a few weeks. How many times did Don visit you? Don didn't visit me at all. How many times did he call you? None. Okay. That's the guy that you should be trying to get his attention, and he doesn't give a shit whether you live or die, because he knows this is fake. Yeah. Somebody threw a football to Fez. He caught it, like, behind his back. I, he didn't do that uh, I know you're trying to be funny now, Shelby. This is a fucking real thing, yeah, though. This is my real theory, that, okay? So don't, yeah. don't bring me down with you. Yeah, it's not, now you look bullshit. I know, I know. Because he fucking, you know... Hey, Shelby, back off, okay? Back off and jack off, my friend. <laughs> Done and By the way, done. I can't even see him over there. I'll just hear the fucking interruptions. You've got this screen right in front of me, Chris. There he is. There's the hiding little fucking sniper. <laughs> um, Justin, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, Fez, how many lawyers have run up to you and said, we're going to sue him for millions, millions, I say. All right, there are people writing in that doctors post opera uh post operation instructions say two weeks for the collar max they all say no collar after two weeks here i thought chris was lying yeah looks like now for, i'm starting to wonder looks like for once he is lying by saying i don't need this um here's charlie charlie you're on the run of fest show hey ronnie be good to hear you guys Hey, Ronnie, why don't you just do a Mike Brady and throw a briefcase behind him, see what happens. I don't anyway, even have the Ronnie. interest. Here's uh, Mike. Mike, you're on the Ryan Fez show. Hey, Fezzy. Yes? You should, you should ditch that uh, 
soft collar and get a nice turtleneck for yourself. Well, the only way he would is if Liz sets fire, bought it for him. That's where he gets his above the belt clothing line. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, this brace is become part. This is going to be the gay brace. All right, Rorschach wants to know why stop at the soft collar. You should be wearing a Bane collar. <laughs> you really are like our Bane right now, or at least the Bane of our existence. The fact that Fez hasn't taken off the gay shirt in eight months makes me feel like the collar will never come off. Oh, no. It's on there now. Yeah. It's part of him. That's why I had the big problem with it in the first place. The exactly. collar will come off uh, when the doctor says it can. Oh, sure. Like, we it- know you. You never come through with anything. It's actually been ten months. We wish it was eight. <laughs> Nearly been a year. With Why this are you thing? keeping a countdown calendar on how long he's been wearing that fucking? All right, I'm gonna say it. Shitty fucking shirt. <laughs> it's a piece of garbage. <laughs> Who was all in on that shirt together? Who bought you the shirt, Fez? Um, that was um. All of a sudden, my mind is slipping me here. Oh, jeez. That old man radio. I'd like to also see you get a, a, a army helmet with it. But an army helmet with a peace sign. You okay. know what I mean? Like, you know, really go all off. Um, Steve, Steve, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Fez, welcome back, son. You want me to come out there? Kick that big lip bitch and that drug addict to the stomach. Drop him on a stack of dimes. They call the neck and give him a reason to wear a neck brace. All you got to do is give old Stone Cold a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Really? You want him to kick me in the stomach? All right, let's fucking do this. Oh, no. Now he said Chris and Shelby. Oh. I heard him say drug addict and I just jumped in. <laughs> hell yeah. Hell yeah, Stone Cold. <laughs> Crack it out of Steve Weiser. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. You can do it. <laughs> Remember that time you were wrestling? It slipped my mind right now. I can't think of it. It was John <laughs> 3. I. What? Fuck you, McMahon. Get him in the wrestling hold. <laughs> now. Alright, this is the helmet for Fez. I can't put that on. Why not? It's way too heavy. Okay, he's not going with the bit. Yeah, let's put it over there. Let's put it over. Uh, it's actually, uh, by the time he had the whole thing going on, it would have been fucking great. We could have got pictures and stuff. This thing barely fits my giant head. Like, if I, if this is, I'm not surprised. If this is army issue, I'd have to go into war without a goddamn helmet on. You've got the Hulk Hogan in the heads. <laughs> Thank you. No one will ever have another fucking large head. Thank you very much. I actually believe that's why you're an only child. I believe that head of yours destroyed your mother's birth canal. Why are you, don't, why are you talking about your mother's birth canal? They actually said it went from a birth canal to a birth bay. Jesus! It was just, just a giant... Did you look at the fucking report? Stan, why are you even talking about this? It's my mother! Come on, man! It's a natural thing, okay? I get it, but I don't want to think about her birth canal. I know, but it's true. It happened. It's nature. Your I, mom yeah. had sex with your dad. Oh. Your dad jizzed. <laughs> Who? A giant load into your mom. It was a big load? Yeah. You were a little fucking tadpole yeah. in that load. Weird. For some reason in those days, you weren't as lazy as you are now. <laughs> and you were off to the fucking races. Yeah. Off to the races. I was first. Till you found your mom's egg. Then Weird. you started humping it. All right. Knocked up that egg. Fertilized it. Yeah. Ugh. And just like a sperm, giant fucking melon. <laughs> You're the same proportion right now of when you're with a sperm. The only thing you need is a fucking tadpole thing instead of feet. Man, I'll get one fucking attached. Call me Sperm Man. Uh, look who it is. It's Queen Elizabeth. Hey, Ron. Fez. Sperm Head. Um, <laughs> I was just wondering if Fez is so adamant about wearing this neck brace because it's doctor's orders. When did he all of a sudden start following doctor's orders? Oh, regarding his health? Oh, yeah. Follow doctor's orders. Oh, you shouldn't call because I should avoid stress. What? I said you shouldn't call because I should avoid stress. Oh, you got me there. Ooh. Damn. Damn, yo. I'm on the tone, uh, bitch. <laughs> I'm so hurt. Like I'm that? so hurt. I was just curious. Ron, you sound delicious and amazing. Well, thank you very much, Queen. Right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Uh, 866 Ron Zero Fez, 866 Ron Zero Fez. 
Because you're being very quiet over there. We stopped talking about your neck for a little while. Hey, yeah, just getting back in the swing of things. Should we talk? Should we focus on your neck? Oh no, because no, that's where you're right. at. You're happiest. As I told you. Yeah. It's all about this fucking neck, fake neck brace. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. It's a real so neck <laughs> brace. <laughs> See, he's back into it. He gets to yell out it's a real neck brace again. That means you at home have to drink over the next week <laughs> as many times as he says, yeah, says exactly in the same way. It's a real neck brace. Shotgun a beer. Shots. Shotgun a beer. Shotgun a beer. <laughs> you never heard of this? No, I mean, I think the drinking game normal uh, like unit is sip. <laughs> sip? Well, where are you fucking playing? In a nunnery? <laughs> Come on. Uh, John, John, you're on the run of Fed's show. Yeah, I'm wondering if uh, Fez had a vacation, a staycation, or a gaycation, and was there any legal intercourse involved? Not what you could call legal intercourse. It was probably the gay, big, most gaycation I had because a guy saw me naked on the uh, operating table. So that's as close as it's got to a gaycation. Every other part of it, staycation. Did have a surgeon with his fingers inside my hips. But other than that, no. No gayness. Maybe next summer. Poor Fess. No cock. 70 and still a virgin. And anything that happened on the operating table, I don't even remember. Oh, you had an operation? Yes. I love to talk about operations. Was it fun? I don't remember any of it. Mm. Fez, remember when someone called in and said that uh, your hip would be hurting more than your neck? Yes. Is that true? Yes. Man. What else can you tell us about your operation? That's it. That covers everything. Did you get soup after? Did you get orange drink? Or Phileas? I love those Did things. you have to wear a robe and slippers? No, none of that. Is this all? <laughs>